Good evening everybody, I'm Fictional Crystals and we're Rose Quartz's Mad on Earth. So far on the show, we barely know anything about any of the Rose Quartz's origins, other than the fact that they all belong to Pink Diamond. That is until one of them shattered her and the rest got bubbled. <laughs> now let's dig deeper into the origins of Rose Quartz's. More specifically, which planet they were made on. Almost every quartz we've seen on the show so far was made for Pink Diamond. Crystal Gem Rose Quartz and all the Bubbled Rose Quartzes were made for Pink Diamond too. She was shattered by a rose quartz. The entire cut of gem deserves the same fate. But they were hers. What's interesting about this is all of Pink Diamond's quartzes were made on Earth. These amethysts, they're all from Earth! So since all the other quartzes were made on Earth, could rose quartzes have been made there too? Pink Diamond's only colony was the Earth. She hadn't taken over any other planet. We know this from her mural in her moon base. In her mural, she's holding one planet. And one moon. Which is the Earth and its moon. Since Pink Diamond only had the Earth, logically all her gems would have been made there. In When It Rains, when Peridot and Steven were walking through the kindergarten, Peridot questioned what Steven was. You're some kind of quartz, right? You must have been made here. Because he was a quartz, she assumed he had been made in an Earth kindergarten, implying that all the quartzes she knows were made on Earth. When Bismuth was talking to Stephen, she said that Rose was just another quartz made right here in the dirt. Just another quartz soldier made right here in the dirt. She might have just meant the dirt in general, since gems are made in kindergartens which are in the ground. Or she literally meant the Earth's dirt. Speaking of kindergartens, in the episode On the Run, Amethyst says she was made on Earth, but Pearl and Garnet were from space. But I thought gems were from space? Pearl and Garnet are, but I was made here on Earth. However, she never mentioned anything about Rose. Rose quartzes seem very human-like. I think Pink Diamond intentionally wanted them to be like this. She was fascinated by humans. That's why she put them in a really nice suit. She was so intrigued by them that she decided to create a gem resembling them. For her to have done that, she would have already had to have been to Earth, so that she could see humans. So at the moment, I'm leaning towards Rose Quartz's having been made on Earth, though there are a few problems with specifically Crystal Gem Rose having been made on Earth, like some of the stuff with Amethyst's past in the kindergarten, or for example, this conversation with Pearl and Greg. And if we win, we can never go home. Do you miss your home planet? No, never. By home slash home planet, they probably meant homeworld. This could mean she was made on homeworld, or arguably. When she said they couldn't go back home, she meant homeworld, not that it was necessarily the place she was made. Rose would have likely have visited homeworld even if she wasn't made there. And when she was talking to Greg about home planet, homeworld is the home planet of Gemkind in general. Or she meant she didn't miss her home planet since she was still living there, that is, if her home planet was the Earth. If Crystal Gem Rose was made on Earth, it may have been part of the reason why she wanted to protect it so much. But even so, I think where Crystal Gem Rose Quartz was made is still up for debate. Since we have evidence for her being made on Earth and evidence against. Personally, I think it's quite likely that Rose Quartzes were made on Earth. But because of some of the things Crystal Gem Rose said, it makes whether or not she was made on Earth a bit iffy. Perhaps Rose Quartzes were made on more than one planet, Earth being one of them. But anyway, thanks for watching and Famethus for a life. Now let's go home so Steven can sleep in a bed.